My name is Dr. Andrea Daniels. I'm a research fellow at the Northwest University in South Africa. The title of this video abstract is The Impact of a Therapeutic Exercise Intervention on Depression and Body Self-Image in HIV-Positive Women in Sub-Saharan Africa. The authors of the study are myself and Professor Rudolf Leon van Niekerk. Right, so attitudes, responses and the reactions of a sample of HIV positive women in four sub-Saharan African regions towards a therapeutic exercise intervention were recorded, measured and analysed. A mixed methods approach was adopted for the study where interviews, the intervention and screening instruments were all designed to measure participants' feelings about their bodies, including concerns about their disease status and the side effects of their antiretroviral treatment, as well as to determine levels of depression and low body self-image in this population. The methodology, stage one, constituted a qualitative exploration into participants' attitudes and perceptions around the art drug toxicity, including metabolic irregularities such as lipodystrophy and general body image issues such as wanting to lose weight and to stay fit. This stage of the research deployed brief informal face-to-face -face interviews based on the World Health Organization United Nations AIDS Inventory in three sub-Saharan African regions, uh, including provincial district hospitals, NGO, VCT and HTC testing centers and primary care outpatients clinics, which these women were attending. Stage two of the study comprised an experimental design using the principles of therapeutic exercise as an intervention. In this sense, cognitive kinetics is a self-deterministic and resistance-based exercise modality where the mover has a degree of autonomy and where problem areas of the body can be isolated, engaged and actioned. This kind of specialty exercise modality has been proven beneficial with diseased populations, especially where pharmaceutical toxicity impacts negatively on their lifestyles and well-being. So stage two was conducted with a sample of HIV positive women again, 60 women, uh, with a mean age of 39 years, having been on their treatment for an average of 5.5 years and with an ethnic means of 86% black in the three selected areas of Johannesburg, South Africa. For the data analysis, the um, various data sets were collated uh, for both stages of the research and analyzed and interpreted. Um, stage one um, in, uh, included uh, analyze, a thematic analysis, while stage two utilized screening instruments for depression and body self-image, namely the body self-image questionnaire and the Beck's depression inventory. Uh, results of this study were, were interesting um, in that they provided significant insight into body satisfaction and concerns around the side effects of our ART as well as the desire to exercise in this population. Stage 1 outlined their concerns around body shape and size including um, attitudes towards exercise and cultural um, constructs. Um, towards exercise. Stage two focused on the body self-image and depression areas um, as a function of, of ART as well. It involved a pre and post test design using both parametric and non-parametric testing to determine significance. Um, descriptive results for depression uh, showed a low statistical means um, for both experimental and control groups. Um, while the body image questionnaire was interesting, it was initially classified, decided to classify the body image questionnaire items into cognitive, perceptual and affective attitudinal. Um, um, so on these various items, there were statistical significance for the item's negative effect, which improved in the experimental group, and health fitness evaluation, which improved in the experimental group. Um, and then for the cognitive perceptual items of the subscale, significantly there was an improvement in the experimental group in the item's social desirability. Now this could be um, interesting in that it is linked to um, stigma, which is an overriding factor um, and a negative factor of, of HIV and AIDS. So overall, uh, this study 
Um, and the outcomes of the study validated a number of empirical constructs thought to contribute to vital areas of research into HIV and AIDS. Um, from the supportive literature and arguments which constituted the premises of the study, it became apparent that women in sub-Saharan Africa are adversely affected by the metabolic side effects of ART, which leaves them at risk for mood disorders and low self-image. Thank you.